All right, guys. So in this section of 3.4 applications of quadratics, you are going to encounter problem like example number one: a farmer has two adjacent, adjacent fields, which share a common fence, with which he wants to make the same size. He has 100 feet of fencing with which to enclose this region. What is the maximum area? The first thing you have to do is represent your field with the <clears throat> common fence. Each of this side is going to be Y when the two big one is going to be X. The first thing you need to work on is the idea of the perimeter is 2X plus 2Y plus 3Y actually because I want to include the common fence uh, in between the two fields and then the area which is going to be X by Y. With these two equations he will be able to express the uh, area with only one variable. Right here you have the area expressed with only one variable. And then if you want to solve to find the maximum area, you want to look for the vertex. So please be careful when you are going to define what is the value of B and what is going to be the value of A. And once you have the vertex, you are going to substitute the value of the vertex inside the expression of your uh, area and uh, you are going to find the maximum area. Let's take a look at the example number two and in this example number two what do we have? We have a kite flies on 20 feet of string we assume the kite is being held at ground level and uh, what is the vertical height of the kite above ground if the horizontal distance from the person holding e holding it is 4 feet less than the vertical height. Well guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my represent my um, um, problem. What I have is basically a right triangle. I'm going to have on this right triangle the hypotenuse and my two legs. My hypotenuse is not squared, my two legs, a square and b square. And I should know that at some point I will have to use this Pythagorean theorem, which is a square plus b square equals c square. All right, so let me get rid of the square right here because I don't have any square. Now, I should also realize that the distance from the person holding it is four feet less than the vertical height. So, if I have A equal X, well, B equal X minus 4. So, now I'm able to, to say that my Pythagorean theorem is going to be X square plus X minus 4 square equal C square. And I know that C is going to be uh, is going to be 20. I know that they are telling me that the, f the kite flies on 20 feet string right here. This is where you have your kite, okay? And that is your string, okay? And that is the string. So I'm getting a 20 square right there. When I distribute I, I, I foil my x minus 4 square. I'm going to have x square plus x square minus 8x plus 16 equal 400. I uh, subtract by 400 both sides. And I end up to have, at the end of the day, a 2x square minus 8x minus 384 equals 0. You can Factor 2, if you factor 2, you will be able to simplify your quadratic expression, uh, quadratic equation into a x squared minus 4x minus 192 equals 0. And so, this is going to be, be able, to, you will be able to transform that into two parentheses. We got a plus, so we will have a plus. We have a x right here, so x by x will give me x square and what is giving me 192 well it is 16 
it is 16 and I'm going to have uh, x plus 12 times x plus minus 16 equals 0. Okay, that defined the fact that x plus 12 equals 0, so x equals negative 12, and x plus minus negative 16 equals 0, so x equals plus 16. Okay, so the uh, vertical height is 16. Why do we have the vertical height as 16? Because you can't have a vertical height negative, so that is impossible. So the only possible answer is going to be 16. Okay, so now let's jump on the uh, next problem. In the next problem, we having section 3.4, a farmer wish to enclose a rectangular region. So first of all, let's try to represent this rectangular region. So we have a rectangular region, and uh, he has 120 feet of fencing. 120 feet of fencing. Uh, one of these sides is used with a barn, so let's put the barn right here. Okay. And so when I look at my fence, I got two sides defined with y and one side defined with x. So my perimeter is going to be 2y plus x. Because they are telling me that the perimeter is 120 feet, I'm supposed to be able to write 20 equal 120 equal 2y plus x. That is one equation. Now I know the other equation because it's the area x by y. So I'm going to express x from the equation number 1. I'm going to call this equation the equation number 1 and this equation the equation number 2. From the equation number 1, I'm going to, from 1, I'm going to express x, in the, which is going to be 120 minus 2y. Then I'm going to substitute the value of x inside a. So a is going to become 120 minus 2y times y. That defined a equal to equal equals to 120y minus 2y square. So, so the maximum being the vertex. Okay, maximum being. Being, let me try to write that properly. The vertex, I can calculate minus b divided by 2a with a equal negative 2 and b equal 120. So far, I'm getting a negative b over 2a equal of 1 minus 120 divided by negative 4, which is 30. So the maximum area, A max, is going to be 120 times 30 minus 2 times 30 square. I'll let you do the calculation home and you will be able to tell me the value of your maximum area. All right, so now I will let you do the problem number 2 as well as the problem number 3, okay? Take your time, they are the same kind of problem we are, you have seen already. This example number three, you should uh, be able to do this example number three, and you know what, I've decided that I could try to do for you the example number three right there about the kite flying 130 feet above with a string. So let me do this one for you. First of all, you're going to have to draw your, your um, problem. Right there we have a 130 feet of string. We have a right triangle and we know that if that is called the side X, we know that the vertical is 70 feet higher, so more than the horizontal, so X plus 70. Now, if I define this ABC, right triangle, I know that from my Pythagorean theorem I'm going to have AC square equal AB square plus BC square. That is uh, basically having 130 square equal X square 
plus x plus 70 square. If I distribute and organize, reorganize everything, I end up to have 100, uh, one, 16,900 equal x square plus x square plus 140x plus a 49,000, 49, 1, 2, and 3. Then that is going to give me a 2x square plus 140x plus actually I made a tiny mistake it's not 49,000 it's 4,900 so I end up to have a plus let me erase that one because I'm going to have a minus and minus 16,900 uh, minus 1,200 minus 12,000 equals 0 so now I'm going to do is apply x equal negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4 times ac divided by 2a with a, a equal 2, b equal 140. To avoid to make a mistake to express to express c, I will put a plus right here. Plus by minus doesn't change much, but it helped me to make sure that c equal negative 12,000. Then you do the uh, math, you will find the value of x, and once you have the value of x, you will be able to find the uh, side bc2. I will let you do the example number three on your own. Apply the advice I just gave you by, first of all, read properly. Second of all, draw a picture and then try to translate into a mathematical language all the defin definition they are giving you. And we will talk about that in class. Thank you.